I uh, had this uh, thought earlier, so I wrote it down. So I'm going to read it instead of trying to repeat it. We are in a dilemma, our agencies and institutions. do the opposite of what they were intended. Since all things manifest from intention in our consciousness or unconsciousness, the world is a result of our collective unconscious intention. Our intentions drive our destiny, which is to fulfill in wholeness fulfill in a state of the beloved. This leaves me with a thought. We must be very young because in view of our essence, the resulting world is backwards. Well, it's a little bit like we're halfway there, um, in a sense. So consider that. Where is our leverage? When we look around at the way the world is and the way the institutions are, do we go into despair? Do we go into cynicism? Or do we look at the same negativity and say, ah, the, the truth. What I produce inwardly is great power. How I organize myself is great power. And then when we collaborate, we multiply that. I know these are all things we've looked at before, but I'm offering this in review of, the, of our time together, the things we've looked at, the things we've studied, the dialogue in which uh, we have explored and discovered uh, our relationship to life and how we want to stand in that as a a transformative influence. Even our uh, academic world, our world of education has been set up to where certain things are divided and excluded. It seems like we can't help ourselves. You know, how do you talk about loving in a curriculum? Well, it's hard to understand, so we avoid it. It, uh, love has been used so much to control and manipulate. Um, how we think, and how we perceive them. So we want to not talk about it in uh, academia. We want to be intelligent and scientific. So we try to study the effect as the truth, instead of looking at uh, the intention to lie. Like when we look at, um, this is the whole essence of sustainability, when we look at uh, the world, the natural world, there is a great intelligence to it. When we, when we see the evolution of life on the planet, how could we think otherwise than this is by intelligent design? But in all of our arrogance, we want to say, that, uh, oh no, it's, this is scientific, and all those intelligent design folks are superstitious. And it tells you design people when they see that it's that there's some creator involved here. 
so we just if we just have to memorize this principle and somebody says this or that if we want the truth it's both the world is not really polarized against itself there's an intelligent design to uh, life um, seducing us away from ourselves to to assisting us to formulate identities that are not lined up with our essence, that are an idea of ourselves, that are uh, a replica of ourselves, based on fear. So. so we have these two streams of information. This stream from that's aligned and heart centeredness in our essence. And through the protocols of the heart, uh, we formulate actions and plans and institutions and laws that reflect that. But this takes some experience. So substantialness, some, some awareness. And we need a way to work out our mistakes, work out our misperceptions, work out our, our scenarios, whichever way they've gone. So we have this great world that reflects back and, and you know, collaborate to, to reinforce, to justify a version of self that is not aligned, that's uh, off-center, as if it's the true self. And we get through the generations to maintain that certainty we behave as if things can be the same, that we can be consistent, so we make up institutions and laws that are progressive. They do keep going to a higher idealism, to a greater love and to a greater service. You can see that over time. You can see on the planet right now where the different areas of the planet are operating under different uh, progressions of this. this uh, every group thinks they have their answer for some reason. Some come out of an inspiration of, uh, oh, life works this way, and you have to have these rigid laws, and if you don't do them, you're not holy, and other ones uh, want to do away with everything. But we do have these little countries and little groups. Uh, we've seen this through the progress of our looking at things now. Uh, each individual is asserting their situation 